The LSE is one of the world's leading social science institutions and we have an outstanding reputation specifically within the field of economics. Now combine that with the fact that between the Department of Geography and Environment, the Grantham Institute and the Economics Department, we are the largest and probably the best group of environmental economists and one can understand why the LSE is the place to study environmental policy with economics. Our students learn uh, not only the theory and concepts uh, to do with environmental economics and policy, but also a range of uh, practical skills, uh, tools and methods. And they apply them to a wide range of case studies and real-world environmental problems. Uh, for example, just to cite one problem, lion conservation. Populations of lions are rapidly declining. There's only 20,000 left in the world. They're extinct in many countries in Africa. Some of the questions that our students will learn to tackle are what are the economic underlying causes of the decline in lion population? How do we measure the, the well-being and the benefits of keeping uh, lions in, in the wild? Uh, how do we generate finance for lion conservation? How do we use uh, insights from behavioural economics to uh, incentivise conservation of lions and importantly how do we manage to transfer uh, funds to people that live with lions to compensate them for the damages and losses caused by lions. This is just one example of the many problems that we are able to tackle with the tools of environmental economics. Our students come from a, a wide variety of backgrounds but I suppose there's two things that unite them and the first is a passion for the environment and for um, having the skills to tackle the big environmental challenges of our time, such as climate change, deforestation and species uh, extinctions. And the second thing is a keen desire to have formal training in economics, because they realise how important uh, it is to be economically literate um, in terms of employability. One of the greatest things about this programme is that there is a wide range of career paths for our graduates. So some of our graduates go and work for governments or big international organizations like the World Bank or the United Nations, and some decide to go to the private sector, work in investment banking or consultancies. And the common thing for all of our graduates is that they tend to do really well and I think that this is because of two main reasons. One is the rigorous LSE economics trainings that they get here, uh, which is something that employers are increasingly looking for. And second is the interdisciplinary feature of the program which gives our graduates a competitive advantage in the labour market. LSE is famous for its public lecture series. Some of the most influential thinkers and policy makers of our time come to talk uh, at LSE. So for example, recently we had people like Bill Clinton and Tony Blair um, and also Angelina Jolie and the Dalai Lama. So it's a wide range of uh, people that come to talk to us and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for our students. Many of our faculty members are directly engaged with policy debates, so they will sit on government panels, consult international organizations like the United Nations and the World Bank, which enables our students to understand how what they study in class can be applied to the real world. And of course we are in the centre of London and uh, the policy makers are just around the corner and it's also uh, one of the most vibrant and exciting capitals in the world. Um, and for, for students provides enormous opportunities in terms of culture, entertainment and so on. If I were to describe the environmental policy with the economics program in three words, I would describe it as rigorous, relevant and rewarding.